see these uh, shallow U-shaped valleys here. These are all 40 years ago. These are all glaciers. Uh, there's they have pictures in the park off, office here. Of glaciers hanging out, almost slowing down to the bottom here. And uh, these have gone all along here. You see them. Uh, these are all gone. See here. They're st they started melting even in the 60s, but they're rapid decline right now. They're they're actually essentially gone. There might be a few remnants way up way up in the hill, but uh, that's that's global warming. And that's a very fast for this type of glaciation to go in a matter of three, four decades is pretty quite remarkable. And it's going even faster now. As we get into the park, there'll be more more glaciers yet that are still around, but within 10, 15 years, most of those will be gone. They'll be pretty much as you're going through the land that never melts, there won't be any more pre glaciers present in probably another decade, 10, 15 years for sure. So it's uh, kind of pathetic, but I've, I've seen a lot of this. I've, I've traveled you know, 40 years of my life in the Arctic and the last 15 years, I've, I've seen so many changes, but it's really great to have a camera here to see it firsthand. And uh, it's pretty much typical of what I've seen here since the uh, late 80s here, rapid, rapid decline of our ice. Uh, this is glaciation that's going. We have ice shelves that have dropped into the ocean across the Larson A and B in 89-90. Uh, that disintegrated in 2002. Uh, the Ward Hunt Glacier up uh, northern Ellesmere, you know, not uh, probably 600 miles from here. We based our expedition off that in 89. That's gone now. Another big section uh, ice, ice shelf in the northern Ellesmere dropped off here this fall. It also was re quite remarkable as the sea ice, and we've seen that in Cumberland Sound. We're looking at uh, satellite photos. That whole sound broke up in the end of January. It never actually froze solid this year, and that's probably the first time in the last thousand years here that it's been free. So the sea ice is going real quickly, uh, the glaciation, and uh, that's going to be have a big impact in the United States. Uh, three quarters of the water for irrigation in the western United States for the fruit trees, that all comes from snow ice pack, and uh, we rely on that ice pack to melt very slowly during the summer. That gives us uh, water during the hot part of the summer, but uh, that's going to be melting real fast in the spring. By June it's all going to be gone. Uh, so this is a major, major problem. It's going to affect us in the States here real soon. And um, the main reason behind this expedition is to show, you know, that this is a reality, uh, that we've got to take this serious. For some reason we don't make the connection of our use of, of, of energy and the emissions and the connection between that and what's happening up here and what's going to happen to our ice pack and many other things. But uh, we have a very short period of time here to wake up and uh, get the technology going. We have technology uh, to solve this problem, but there's not much time to act here, so we really got to get going fast. So here it is. This is global warming. Real obvious. It used to be glaciers. This U-shaped valley, you can take a look in the park office. That was a glacier hanging out in, 19, in the 60s. Pretty pathetic.